Hey everyone, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and on today's video, we're going on a little prospecting treasure hunting adventure. So I got a, I got a tip from a friend that there's a, kind of a lost mine up here. He marked it for me on a map, and I couldn't find it on any of the, the USGS maps or anything, but he said that if I can get to where the vein outcrop is and do a little prospecting on the vein, it's pretty rich. And he gave me a few tips I want to look for. So right now we're on our way up and there's not really a trail to follow. I'm just kind of bushwhacking my way up through, you know, this stuff behind me. Um, so hopefully we can get up there, get to the mine or the prospect. I, I actually don't know if there's any workings or not. Um, and, uh, see if we can find some vein and do a little prospecting. But, uh, one of the first things I'm going to look for is, uh, is some float. The guy said it's a quartz vein. And as I get closer up to the outcrop, there's supposed to be uh, kind of a big talus slope underneath. And he said that if you can start finding uh, quartz float on the talus, then you're probably getting in the right direction. So we'll keep going here, bushwhacking our way up through this junk and uh, see, if we can, see if we can find some treasure today. All right, we've been going for quite a while now. I'm trying to get kind of my bearings about you know where I'm at. It's just it's just cliffy, steep, rocky crap. I've taken a few different uh, false false trails, I guess, where you go up and you get cliffed out, and it's just. It's just really tough going, um, but I haven't I haven't found any float yet. We're getting pretty close to where uh, to where this place is supposed to be. I don't know the tenacity of these old guys. I mean, there's you know there's no trails, there's no indication of anything's up here, and they were just these old timers were just out here bushwhacking through the wilderness hoping to find some gold and I even have a map I mean I, I kind of know I know where I'm supposed to go and I'm still having trouble finding it so um yeah it's just these guys were these guys were tough all right well we're up we made it up into this little clearing and there's a little stream running through here but uh let's see if I can get this look what I look what I found see that right there that is a nice chunk of quartz float. So I'll put the camera around so you guys can see. Okay, this is this is what's exciting. This is what the old guys were looking for. This is, uh, like I said, a piece of quartz float. And float is um, a piece of the vein or the outcrop that is broken off and rolled down the hill. And this is what the old guys would follow up the hill uh, to the mother load, essentially, where the, the vein outcrops and is still in the rock. I don't see anything really fantastic in this one, uh, but that is certainly a piece of vein quartz. Looks really nice, pretty big, so, you know, the vein's at least a foot wide, I'd say. But this is our first indication here that we're on to something. And actually, now that I'm looking around, there's another piece right there. There's a little piece there. A couple more little pieces back up in here. So we're uh, we're getting we're getting on the on the trail here. That's a pretty good piece. I might break this one open and take a look. Let me go get a hammer. We'll knock this open and see uh, see if we can get any gold out of it. It's hard stuff, I'll tell you that.
All right, so what I'm looking for here is any, any sort of mineralization, any sulfides, uh, or some other indicator mineral in here. Oftentimes, the gold or the, the precious metals will hang out with other indicator minerals like you know pyrite or pyrotite, galena. Um, I don't see a whole lot of stuff in this one. But this could have been laying out here for a thousand years, you know, and all that stuff could have been leached out. It gets weathered and, and uh, you know, here it's real wet. It gets rained on all the time. Um, and it, they oxidize out. But, man, that's a, that's a good find there. I'm pretty excited now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow this. I'm just going to go uphill from here. This stuff came from up above me. So we'll just keep on going and see what we can find. Uh. Uh. One of the nice things about all the rain is we've got lots of water to drink. Uh. Well, there's, there's uphill from me and there's snow. Guess it got pretty cold last night, and hopefully I don't get into any of that, because if I'm looking for white rock in the snow, that's going to be a pretty good challenge. Ooh, look at here. A little bit of nature's bounty, huh? Blueberries. Ooh, they're, ah, they're real sour. I think they've been froze on too, so they're kind of going mushy. Ooh. Mmm. Oh yeah, those are those aren't real great. Okay, we're what hold on, let me catch my breath. Okay, so we're up above the tree line now. You can see it's just rocks and talus and stuff behind me there. But uh I found this here. This little guy, a little piece of float, another piece of float, so that's a good sign. Um, we're getting pretty close, we gotta be, because I'm running out of walking area. I don't have, I mean, there's only, there's cliffs a couple hundred feet above me. So this this is on the map where it says it's supposed to be. Um, and we got some float, so it's it's gotta be above me somewhere. So I'll just keep following the float up uphill and uh, we'll see where it gets me. All right, guys, we found it. A jackpot right here so I can do this in reverse is the vein going right up there right up around oh, where uh oh losing it there we go right around that corner it's a nice white quartz vein it's uh I don't know anywhere from one to two feet and uh it comes down here I don't know if you see that right here all up up there all that quartz and I just I followed the I followed the float uphill and uh, it led me right to the vein I haven't seen one of the things um, I haven't seen is any workings or dump piles or anything um, but I think this is the vein we were looking for and uh, like I said that that older guy uh, showed me on a map where this was and he actually found this when he's out goat hunting and uh, you know, I'm, I'm just surrounded by cliffs, so probably a pretty good spot to look for goats. But uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get set up, take a look at this vein, and uh, then we'll start chipping some stuff off and see if we can find any gold. All right, so we found our outcrop, and one of the first things that I like to do, well, the, the tendency is to just start hammering away on the vein and, and do a lot of hard work. Uh, but what I like to do is there, there's plenty of stuff just laying around that is naturally falling off the vein, and it's it's the same stuff. So uh, a lot of times the surface is weathered, it's brown, it's, you can't see anything. But one of the first things I like to do when I come and prospect uh, a vein is to just take some of the float that's real close up near the vein and just break it open and see see what it looks like. Um, we're in a, a little bit of a precarious spot here. 
there's a there's a cliff right here on the left side of me and uh you know it, it goes way up on the right side as well so i'm kind of perched here on this little shelf um but as long as they don't fall off we should be fine so i'm just gonna start i got my three pound hammer or five pound hammer and i just start breaking stuff open and and starting to look it uh it really helps if you can get it wet. I know a lot of places don't have water sitting around. Um, but blowing off the surface always helps me. And again, like what we saw down below, what I'm looking for is uh, so, some kind of indicator mineral. Um, if I can if I can see gold sitting right on the on the surface, that'd be awesome. Um, but what I'm really looking for is some sort of sulfide mineral, something shiny, something shiny that I can get excited about. Um, and hopefully it hasn't been sitting here in the weather too long to uh, oxidize all those, those minerals away. But I'm just going to start working this, this vein here a little bit and see what we can find. Well, the, <laughs> the filming location here is a little bit difficult, um, but here's our, here's our vein, and I, I wanted to point out something on this spot, because uh, when I'm high grading or when I'm prospecting, the first thing I look for is the indicator minerals, but then the, the other thing is, even though the gold is associated with this vein, it doesn't mean the gold spread evenly out throughout the vein, and almost universally, there are some real high grade zones within the vein itself. And so if you can identify the high grade areas and not have to worry about, you know, breaking out the whole vein, um, that, that is really to your advantage. And so I'm looking at this vein here and I see, you know, and, and you kind of got to use your imagination a little bit, but foot walls down here, hanging walls up here. And there's, there's this band of quartz. And then there's this band of quartz. And then there's another little band right here along the hanging wall. And it kind of comes over here. You can see it. It's kind of maybe kind of hard to see. But I'm going to look at those three different bands and try and break away some of the quartz from those three different areas. And if I can find, you know, an indicator mineral or even some gold in one of those areas and not in the other two, I'm going to, I'm going to laser focus on that one zone. And because uh, I got, you know, real limited time, real limited um uh, tools and stuff. So I want to, I want to make the most bang for my buck. So let me see if I can set the camera up here and see if I can get, get some of this stuff out. But, um, as, as you can see, you know, there's, I'm, I'm kind of hanging out over nothing here. So, um, I'll, I'll try and get the shot as best I can, but, uh, I'll, if I find something, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Well, I just put my glove under a waterfall while I was filming <laughs> and it's full of water now. Okay, let's let's try this here. I haven't found anything in the float yet. Okay, let's see if I can get this on camera here. Here is the quartz I just broke out of there. And see how it's kind of rusty? It's got rust stains on it. It's got, um, that's that's better looking stuff than the stuff that I was finding on the on the surface and on uh, as float. So this is just, you know, there's a ton of it around. It's just white, white quartz. Whereas this stuff is uh, a little bit more iron stained, a little rustier. So this is, this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about indicator stuff. This, looks just like bull quartz to me, whereas this stuff has some mineralization, it's got some metals in it, so this is where I'm going to continue looking. And it seems to me that my eyes aren't as good as they once were, <laughs> so it's a little bit harder to pick out what I'm looking for, 
Uh, I don't wear glasses yet, but apparently I might be shortly. Um, but let me get this stuff kind of broken up, washed off, and um, we're kind of in a good zone here with the mineralization in this in this little band I'm working. Awkward position, really, is what it is. I'm focusing right here on the hanging wall because it looks like that's where most of the see that, that dark kind of dark reddish brown stuff. I don't really see. any gold yet, but this lower band here is just, it's just white quartz. There's nothing, there's nothing exciting in it. There's no mineralization. It's just white, fairly boring as far as the mineralogy is concerned. All right, I'm working on getting this big chunk out here. I've been striking out up here on the hanging wall. So if I can get this big old chunk out, I can get a full cross section of the vein and we can look through the, the cross section of the vein. But first I gotta get it out. All right, well, we're, we're chunking her out piece by piece here, I guess, I think. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, now we can actually take a look at pretty much the whole cross section of the vein and see what we got here. Okay, let me get you oriented here. We took this rock from there and this, this face went up there. So here's the hanging wall up here, foot wall down here. And uh, you know, you can see there's, there's a section of vein, I don't know, a, a zone or a, a, an area where from the hanging wall down to about here, it looks like there's a zone. And then there's maybe all the way through or maybe it separates here. Um, but this is the foot wall down here. And earlier I was talking about the hanging wall looked good and there was that section. Um, but now down here, the foot wall is looking pretty interesting down here along the foot wall. So let me, let me break some of this off and we'll see what's going on down in this band. I haven't been able to get to the foot wall before. Um, so let's uh, let's work on this area here. Okay guys, jackpot. Found some. Let's see if I can show you. It's right, right down there. There, see it flash? Oh yeah, we're in the gold now. So this is, this is the foot wall right here. And that gold is right, I mean, an inch, less than an inch from the wall. So um, I got it right from down under here on our big rock. And so I'm going to start concentrating right here along the foot wall. I'm going to pry this big one out over here. And I'm just going to work work this little band on the foot wall here pretty good and see if I can open up some more and, and get some more gold showing. All right, guys, pretty exciting stuff here. I want to show you. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see a big gold chunk sitting right there in the corner? Big old yellow piece sticking out of there. There you go. And I can kind of see it. Look at there. And this is a really good example. You know, there's the gold. And then there's this gray sulfide, probably pyrite, right there with it. So that is a nice little piece. And again, it came off the same spot, about about half an inch from the foot wall. So we found our, our rich zone in the vein, or, or a rich zone. Um, and so I'm just going to keep working it and, and getting more gold. And I was just looking at this piece some more. Here's that piece I just showed you with the gold here in the corner. Um, but if you turn it over, there's a piece of gold right there at my thumb. See it flash? 
it's all it's all dirty, but there's gold. There might even be some more gold right there too. So this this spot is really really rich. I mean, when you can find free gold just by knocking the quartz off, this is this is a really good spot. Well, don't hit your hand; it hurts. But we're breaking our rock up here, and we're getting some really good stuff. There's a there's a section down here. I don't know if you can see there. There's a piece of gold sticking out of the bottom of the rock, right there. There's some in here. So I'm working. I'm working on this corner here. See if I can get that exposed a little bit. We're up above the foot wall quite a ways now in this section. And I don't see much of anything exciting, so I'm going to let this little piece go or put it back over there or something. Oh, there it goes. It seems like this real white bull quartz stuff just doesn't have anything in it. There's a few little vugs and stuff, little pockets of crystals, but I don't see any really anything exciting in those. I really want to stay down here by the foot wall. And uh, so let's see if we can get this little chunk off. Whoa. Okay, don't go over. Don't go over the hill. Let's so break this guy up in smaller pieces. Oh yeah. There's some. This piece is loaded here. It's got it's got gold all the way through here, around this side, and then on this fresh face, there's gold up in here even. Yeah, that's a good piece. Let's throw that in the bucket. We got another big rock here. I'm working along. Again, that couple of inches right above the the uh, foot wall there, and I mean almost every rock has gold in it. It's just amazing. It's it's. I mean, I break one open and I'll see a little bit on the face. This is this is a pretty nice little piece here. I don't, but I mean it is all laced through there, about an inch above the hanging wall and you know like I, this rock I broke open and there's there's gold in this half and then on the other half of the rock there was gold too so you know it's it's going through this one pretty good and then when I broke it open see all that shiny stuff in there holy cow it's just loaded with gold all around that little pocket of black stuff and it's on it's on both sides it's just, it's just loaded with gold. So I'm, I'm in the right spot. I'll have to take this back and crush some of the stuff up, see if we can get some more gold out of it than just what we can see on the surface. Well, we got our big rock busted apart, and um, I don't know if you can see, but right along here, foot wall, good stuff right here. And then junk above it, everything above it's junk. And same thing here, you kind of got a line in the quartz. And everything from there down to the foot wall seems to be pretty good, has a lot of gold in it, and everything above it, junk. And then same thing over here in my shadow, I guess. Good stuff to there, everything above it, junk. All right, so let me try this. I'm gonna try and break the, the good stuff on the bottom off the junk stuff on the top. Let's see if I can film it and hammer and not fall off the cliff all at the same time. Well, that kind of worked. Got some separation there. Let's see what's in here. So this is where the gold will be, is in that piece. 
So we'll save that up there with our good pieces. All right, here's the spot we've been working. I'm gonna work my way down along here on the foot wall as well. And one of the important things when you're prospecting and stuff like this is, you know, don't get too hung up on getting in one spot and trying to find a bunch of gold and stuff. For me, I mean, yeah, I found some, some gold over here. I, I got a good little spot there that I found some, but I want to I wanna keep moving along and see if I can find some other stuff or, you know, maybe I'm going to start looking in the hanging wall a little bit more here. So um, we're just going to keep moving along here and keep looking. But uh, I'm losing my son. My son's about to go off over the hill and I'm running out of light. So I got to wrap it up pretty soon. But I've got a pile of rocks here I'm going to take back with me. I got all the stuff in my hat. And uh, so we'll have a, a pretty nice little take with us. So let's see what I can find down here. And, uh, and then we'll probably have time to get going. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up for me today. The shadows are getting long and... It was a long hike up here, and even a, uh, it's going to be a longer hike back because i got a pack full of rocks now. Um, but once we get back down and on another video, I'll, uh, I'll run these this sample I got, these gold rocks, through uh, my little lab crusher, and we'll grind them up, take a look at what we can get out of them for gold, and um, we'll do a little uh, analysis on them and figure out ounces per ton. So hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.